A lot of you guys complained about my first video saying I sounded tired, so now I'm gonna try and sound energetic. I'm gonna come down here to the window. I'm gonna look at my apps, Photoshop app. Open it from there. Don't go to the internet, don't go to Google, don't go to your cloud files. Just go down to the apps and open Photoshop. Blonde haired lady will appear, and now my files. Right here in my files, you'll see our first assignment. I called mine Pin Photoshop Assignment 1. And then the second assignment we did, Layer Order, Pin Photoshop Assignment 2. Well, how about I go to Photoshop Assignment 1 and open it. And there it is, boys and girls. What I'm going to do next is make sure that my color is black by clicking on this thing. I'm going to type the word resolution for this assignment. It's all about resolution. <laughs> why isn't that working? Oh, I know why it's not working. Because it thinks I want the font to be white, I want the font to be black. There it is. All right. Resolution is the name of this assignment. Perfect. What I'm gonna do right now, I've titled it Resolution. I can go to File, Save a Copy, and I'm going to save to the Creative Cloud and call this Photoshop Assignment 3. Save. Now, every time I work on this project and I hit Control S down here on the bottom left corner, you can see it's saving. It's saved really quickly. And just to be sure, you don't have to do this, but if I go to File Open, there's my three assignments. Photoshop Assignment 1, 2, and 3. Cancel. I don't want to open anything new. Boys and girls, when I'm talking about resolution, I'm talking about how big your picture looks. The resolution of Assignment 1 that I'm looking at, if I go to Image Size, I told you all to make this 12 inches by 12 inches and make it 150 pixels per inch. So that's how big our file is. I haven't changed anything. Next, I'm gonna minimize this. My Photoshop document's still there. I'm gonna go to Google Chrome. And I was thinking, what are famous works of art all over the internet that you can pick from? I'm gonna let you have three options. You can Google image search Mona Lisa because you will find a lot of different <coughs> Mona Lisas all over the internet. Some are silly, some are big, some are small. There's the Mona Lisa. You can even type in Vincent Van Gogh. Nope, misspelled it. Starry Nights. And if you type that in, you'll get a whole lot of different choices for Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. I want options that are big, options that are small. You can even type in for your third option, Cat in the Hat book. The internet's a big scary place and I don't want you guys searching for whatever pictures you think is are funny or not funny. So I am limiting it to three options. Let's do Mona Lisa for this example. Why do I keep capitalizing? Okay, there's Mona Lisa and I'm in Google Images, not Google All, Google Images. Here's a funny thing about image resolution. This one says it's from Wikipedia. If I click it, it actually tells me the resolution when I hover over it, 1200 pixels by 1700 pixels, 1200 by 1788. That's a pretty high resolution picture. Now, Instead of minimizing it, if I shrink the box a little, if I go to Photoshop and do the same thing, on some computers, it lets you just grab this and drag it over. But on this computer, I get the big no sign right here, so I cannot do that. What I'm going to have to do is right click it, copy image, and then edit paste. It's being slow. Edit, paste. Man, that's big. If I go to a different Mona Lisa, let's say this one. Well, they're all cropped differently. 
If I go to this one and I look at it, oh, look at that down in the corner, 840 pixels by 1,183 pixels. Copy image, please work. Is it, when I paste it, is it gonna be bigger or smaller? Edit, paste. And how did I know that was gonna be smaller? Because it told me when I clicked on it. This one, this Mona Lisa has a big white frame around it. It is 600 pixels by 600 pixels. So if I copy image and I go to paste it, it is smaller again. So here's what I want you to learn about today. This first one, I'm gonna call this high resolution. If you look, I have got a magnifying glass for the zoom tool. You hit control plus, you zoom in really quickly. If you hit control minus, you zoom out really quickly. How far out will this zoom? If you look up at the top of your Photoshop file, it is at 1%. That's really far away. If I hit control plus, you can see that if I were to print this, that would be 100%. But I can go 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 12, 16, 32, 64, 128. Oh my gosh, I can zoom in 12,800%. That is way too big. We are looking at the pixels of the resolution of the picture, not the pixels that make up the screen. Okay, I want this to fit inside my first square. So in order to do that, I need to make sure I'm in this layer. I need to go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And if I do that, it will shrink to the size I need. There's a good example, that's the high res. Now, I'm gonna make all of these the same size and I want you to see how pixely these are. So if I go to this Mona Lisa next, I'm also going to have to shrink this one. I'm gonna go to Edit Transform Scale and I hope this one fits. It does. And now, that's like a medium resolution picture. And now, if I click on this Mona Lisa, if I have to make this one bigger because it's low resolution, it should appear more pixelated. Scale. Not bad, but not great. So the last thing I'm going to do for this assignment, your next assignment, I'm going to type on all of these. Uh, maybe I'll make sure that my type tool is white. Um, I'm gonna call this one high resolution. I'm gonna call this one medium resolution. And I'm gonna call this one low resolution. And if you have done that, boys and girls, you can merge all these layers together, you can leave it as it is, but I am going to save a copy. No, I'm going to just hit save because I've already saved it. So when I hit open, there's assignment one, assignment two, and assignment three. Cancel, close. Quick note, kids. If you're looking for Mona Lisa and you're looking for high resolution, we've got this neat little option in Google Images. If you go to Tools, look at this. Size, color, type, time, usage rights. Uh, you could do Creative Commons licenses, commercial and other licenses. I like all. I think all of these default to all. Any time, any type, any color, any size. But check this out. You can tell Google to just look for large high resolutions. And if you look at these, I believe these are all pretty high. That one, that one's 2,000 by 3,000. You get the idea, these are all very big. What if I wanted low resolution pictures for whatever reason? Um, tools, size, 
the icon. That one's pretty small, 256 by 256 pixels. What about if she's bald? Oh, 128 by 128. Oh. Yeah. So yes, Icon will give you low resolution pictures. And that is all under tools in your Google image search. Van Gogh, Starry Nights, tools, size, large, 1,200 pixels by 950, 1,280 pixels by 1,014. 1,600 pixels by 1,264, but if I go to tools and tell it icon, here we got 256 by 256. So yes, if you're trying to show me different resolutions using Google image tools is a great way to go.